you're seeing the first glimpses of morning. Is that what you're seeing this morning? See, that's what I see. Right here where we live, of course, you hear those cows uh, letting you know they're up this morning. There's life in them. They're crying out. They're alive. This is resurrection morn. I wondered, I prayed, I thought about what to say this morning and truly it pales in comparison. You say, what do you mean, Brother John? The Word of God says it so much more eloquently than I could ever say it. The Word of God says it so much better than I ever could. You see, in Luke chapter 24, it says, Now upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came upon the sepulcher, bringing the spices which they had prepared, and certain others with them, and they found the stone was rolled away from the sepulcher. And they entered. <laughs> and they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and the third day rise again. And they remembered his words and returned from the sepulchre and told all these things unto the eleven, and to, and to all the rest. It was Mary Magdalene, and Joanna, and Mary the mother of James, and the other women that were with them, which told these things unto the apostles, and the words seemed to them as idle tales. And they believed them not. Then arose Peter and ran unto the sepulcher. And stooping down, he beheld the linen clothes laid by themselves and departed, wondering in himself at that which was come to pass. He couldn't believe what had truly taken place. He couldn't believe. He had spoken these words to them. Jesus had told them. He told them all. He said, I must be delivered up. I must be crucified. But on the third day, I'll rise. All rise. The Bible says that the two men said, Why seek ye the living among the dead? In Matthew chapter 28, it says it like this. It says, In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulcher. And behold, there was a great earthquake for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven 
and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning and his raiment white as snow. And for fear of him, the keepers, that means the guards, that means those that stood by, did shake and became as dead men. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not, fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen. And he said, Come and see the place where the Lord lay. And go quickly and tell the disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall ye see him. Lo, I have told you. And they departed quickly from the sepulcher with fear and great joy and did run to bring his disciples' word. Can I tell you this morning, we should go and depart with joy. Can I tell you, I know what we're facing. I know what's all around us. I know the sickness that is upon this world today. I know the sadness and sorrow. Listen, as I sit here this morning, uh, as I told you Friday, my heart is troubled. I feel heartache. I feel sorrow. As we uh, have uh, lo have not lost, and let me let me correct that. We had not lost her. We know where she's at. But one of our dear sisters has left this world, has left the body as the word says. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. So I know exactly where she's at. We ain't lost her or misplaced her. Can I tell you that this morning? But I know where she's at. She's in the hands of that loving Savior that over 2,000 years ago rose again on this fine morning. Can you see the sky starting to brighten up? Can you see the light starting? to come, even in the midst of the darkness. Can I remind you what the psalmist said, even though weeping may endure for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. Can I tell you right now? He's in, even as the light starts to come across the skies, as the sun rises triumphantly again, can I not tell you this morning, can you not understand, can you not grasp what I'm saying to you when I tell you this, we have victory in Jesus. It's not just an old gospel song out of an old battered hymnal. It's not just some old tale that one might tell another, but can I tell you this morning, as we Stand here victorious. Uh, can I tell you this morning? My Jesus is alive. Why seek ye the living among the dead? My Jesus is alive. He's alive forevermore. And I will sing hallelujah. I'll sing hallelujah. My Jesus is alive. Can I tell you this morning? I don't know what your plans might be. I know that this this year, uh, th this year, this month, this uh, this Easter has not been the same as we have before in the past. I know that I would much rather be there at the corner of Second Nice Maple, uh, there with our church members. I would much rather be uh, sitting there uh, enjoying a cup of coffee with my church members, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I would much rather be hugging their neck and telling them how much I love them. I see this morning, I see many of you signing on this morning. and I, I would start naming names, but I'd get myself in trouble. I'd miss somebody. But can I tell you, I'd much rather be sharing uh, the morning with you uh, in person. I know the restrictions we must abide by. I know what we have to do today. But can I tell you right now, I know more than that what we have to do each day. And that is to celebrate that we serve a living God, not a dead God, no longer in a sepulcher, no longer in a tomb. The stone was rolled away. He is no longer wrapped up in grave clothes. The Bible says that Peter found him laying to the side because he's no longer in him. 
and he's no longer in the grave. Can I tell you right now, it says over in the book of Revelation that he stands as a living God. He that was dead but is alive again. And he that holds the keys to death, hell, and the grave. Can I tell you this morning, I don't know who you serve, but if you're sitting in the darkness uh, thinking there will never be light again, I serve the light bringer. I serve the one that lights up my life. Uh, the Bible says that there, he will be the light of that city when I go to heaven one fine day. Listen, I know that our sister has went on before us, uh, but she is already basking in the true light. Uh, praise God. He is the light uh, the way, the truth, and the life. He is the resurrection. Praise God. Oh, Jesus. He told Mary and Martha there uh, in, uh, nearby the graveside, nearby the tomb of Lazarus. He said, don't you know that your brother will rise? And they said, we know he'll rise uh, in the resurrection. But he said, I am the resurrection. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you don't know what I'm saying. But let me tell you this morning. My Jesus didn't just talk it. He walked it. No one took his life. He laid it down. And just as he laid it down, he picked it back up again. Can I get an amen from somebody this morning? If you're not too scared of what somebody might do to you, listen, uh, I ain't in no car, you ain't in no car, so they ain't going to write down your license plate number this morning. Can I tell you right now, we're going to celebrate Jesus anyway. Do you see the sun coming up? Do you see the light uh, crossing the skies? Listen, come on now. Maybe you don't see what I see. Maybe you don't get a hold of it like I'm getting a hold of it. But can I tell you right now, this morning, I am ready, praise God, to celebrate uh, the resurrection of my true King, I am ready to celebrate with my brothers and sisters again how my Jesus brings life, brings healing, and brings everything you might ever need. Can I tell you right now, he owns the cattle on a thousand hills. Can I tell you right now, he is the praise God. He is the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. Why seek ye the living among the dead? This morning, have you sat there long enough amongst the dead? Have you sat there long enough amongst the dead? Listen, I tell you right now, I don't know what I would be doing this morning if I didn't have Jesus in my heart and in my life. Can I tell you, I'd be missing the most important piece. You say, Brother John, what peace would that be? That peace uh, that is brought to you uh, by God, by God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. Can I tell you all three in one? Listen, I need them all. Listen, y'all might turn me off after I say this, but I tell you right now, I need a good touch of the Holy Ghost uh, each day to get me through. I need the touch of the Savior of that healing hand. I need the blessings of my Lord God uh, from on high every single day just to get by. Can I tell you this morning, I don't know what you woke up for. Maybe it was Folgers in your cup, or maybe it was uh, uh, somebody shaking you awake. But can I tell you right now, it was the need, it was the need to tell you about my Jesus. The thing that woke me up this morning was the need to tell you that my Jesus is still alive. You see those skies getting brighter. Listen, I tell you right now, I don't know what you came for. I don't know if you tuned in this morning just because you ain't got nothing better to do. I don't know if you tuned in this morning because you thought you might see that crazy bald-headed preacher say something crazy and bald-headed like. That's probably likely. But I tell you right now, I'm going to tell you about Jesus. I'm going to tell you about the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Good morning to you. God bless you on this resurrection day. Can I tell you this morning? God bless you on this resurrection day. Praise God. Praise God. Would you pray with me this morning? Would you pray with me? I know we're not together. I know I, I, I can't. Uh, I, I could ask you to go ahead and put in your prayer request. And I ask that you do. Please put in your prayer requests. And I do read over these comments. I do go back. I go back for days to come. And, and I read over them. And I just think about them. And pray on them. And if you say amen. Or if you just keep on, keep on. Uh, uh, can I tell you right now. Uh, 
Listen, I, I, I want you to know what Jesus can do today. I want you to know what Jesus can do today. Praise God, praise God. I know what my Jesus can do. If you just keep letting Jesus be Jesus, if you keep letting God be God, and you keep uh, letting that, that Savior, that one that bled and died for you and for me, he'll keep being, he'll keep being him. We keep being who we are. But listen, I want to be the one he made me to be. Let us pray. Blessed are Heavenly Father, Lord God, as we come before you. Lord Jesus, I praise you. I worship you. Lord God, I thank you for your love, for your mercy, for your kindness. I thank you, Lord God, that on this day, Lord God, you are alive. You are still alive. Praise God. And you are the one that brought me to life. You are the one, praise God, that that found me when I was lost, that brought me back to life when I was dead. The one, praise God, that gave me a purpose and set me upon the path. Way, Lord God, that leads to you. Lord God, I know my heart is heavy this morning, Lord, over the loss of Sister Ann, but I know, Lord God, that she is in your arms. I know, Lord God, that you are the one that brings peace and comfort, Lord God, and I ask that you would this morning bring it to Brother Richard, Lord God, and touch the family, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that you would, Lord God. Touch our church family, Lord God, as our hearts are heavy, Lord God. Yes, we know she's with you, and she is much better with you than she would be remaining with us. But, Lord, we pray, Lord God, help us, uh, Lord God, that we might keep our head up. Uh, and, Lord, realize, uh, Lord God, that we're coming to you, too. Yes, Lord God. Lord, I pray, Lord, touch the sick. Uh, Touch those that are struggling. Touch those that have uh, been affected by this COVID-19. Uh, those that have lost jobs. Uh, those that have lost family members. Those that have uh, struggled with illness. Those that have uh, uh, been in the in the medical community, Lord God. Uh, Lord, health care workers. Uh, Lord, nurses and doctors and, and any 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 position, Lord God. Lord, as they're working, Lord God, feverishly to help others. Lord, be with them and help them this morning. And I pray, Lord God, that they would feel your presence, that they would know you more. Lord God, as the sun rises on another resurrection morn, Lord God, let us not fail uh, to give you praise. Let us not fail to give you the glory, Lord God, for you are worthy of praise. You are worthy, Lord God, of all the glory and honor. Lord God, we give you the praise. We lift up your name, Lord God, and we ask that you would be with us. Lead us, guide us, and direct us. Touch all those that watch this, Lord God. Uh, Lord, whether it be this morning or in mornings to come or in weeks and months to come, Lord God, let your will be done. And I pray, Lord God, uh, that you be glorified, Lord God, in it. I pray, Lord God, that you would speak to us uh, and help us, Lord God, that we might be able, Lord, to understand your will for another day. Lord God, we praise you and we thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name we do pray. Together we say... Amen and amen. Amen. You know what foundation? It's a, it's a tradition that we come together on, on Easter morning, on resurrection morning. We come together and we try to celebrate the Savior. My phone keeps trying to mess up on me, y'all. Forgive me. We try to celebrate the Savior and the resurrection. And we try to celebrate just how good God is. And as we celebrate that, we, uh, we, we come together and we share time of fellowship. Now, I know you can't drink my coffee with me. I know I can't share a biscuit with you or nothing like that. And I, not through this. I don't, I don't think the technology is there just yet. But you know what we can do? We can tell each other we love each other. We can pray for each other and we can come together. In one mind and one accord to celebrate the risen king. As the sun rises on another resurrection morn, know that our Savior is alive. My Jesus is alive. I love each and every one of you. You know, God loves you. He sent his son to die for you, but his son didn't stay dead. Why? Jesus loves you so much. He chose to die for you, but he chose. To rise again. He rose again. On this resurrection morn. To bring life. Everlasting for you and for me. 
Man, that's something worth celebrating. Whether we got to do it in some strange way or some different way or some new way, we can still celebrate how good God is. Can we celebrate that this morning? I love each and every one of you. I do love my coffee. <laughs> we love you this morning. We're praying for you. Remember, God loves you. Jesus loves you. And this crazy bald-headed preacher loves you too. We're praying for you. God bless.